she was a beaut, this 1996 M1079, even with her chipped up camo paint job. This truck had seen better days, but there was something undeniably captivating about her rugged exterior. Each scratch and dent told a story, a testament to the countless missions and terrain she had conquered, a real workhorse built for anything. From the harsh deserts to the dense forests, she had been through it all. Her robust design and powerful engine made her a reliable companion in the most challenging conditions. But time and the elements, they'd taken their toll. Age had crept into her bones, and the once vibrant camo paint had faded into a patchwork of memories. The years of service had left their mark, but beneath the wear and tear, her spirit remained unbroken. That's what happens when you spend your life hauling gear for the Army. She had carried heavy loads, transported troops, and been a steadfast part of countless operations. Her resilience was unmatched, but even the toughest machines need care and attention. Now, I love a good patina as much as the next guy, but this was beyond charming. This was a canvas of history, each layer of rust and paint telling a tale of endurance and strength. Yet, it was clear she needed more than just admiration. She needed a revival. This was a full-blown restoration project calling my name. The challenge was immense, but the potential was even greater. I could see the future in her. A transformation waiting to happen. With the right tools and a lot of dedication, she could be brought back to life. This old girl deserved a new lease on life. She had given so much, and now it was time for her to receive. The journey ahead would be long and arduous, but the reward would be worth every effort. I knew this wouldn't be easy, but I was ready for the challenge. Every bolt, every piece of metal, every drop of sweat would be a step towards her rebirth. The process would be meticulous, requiring patience and precision, but I was committed to seeing it through. It was time to turn this military machine into an expedition-ready RV. A new chapter awaited her, one filled with adventure and exploration. She would no longer be confined to the duties of the past, but would embrace a future of freedom and discovery. The M1079 was ready to be reborn. First things first, I needed a plan. A professional paint job was out of the question. They quoted me 15 grand, $15,000 to spray some paint, no way, Jose. This wasn't some fancy sports car. This was an M1079 built for toughness, not for pampering. I decided to take matters into my own hands. A little elbow grease never hurt anyone. I knew I could give this truck the makeover it deserved without breaking the bank. My budget, 500 bucks. Let's do this. First things first, that camo had to go. The camouflage paint, once a symbol of its rugged past, now stood as a barrier to its rebirth. Stripping paint is a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. Dust flew everywhere, coating my clothes and filling the air with a fine mist of history. Hours I spent with sandpaper in hand, getting down through the layers of carb paint. Each stroke of the sandpaper was a step back in time, revealing the truck's original form. My arms ached, my back screamed for mercy, but I kept at it. I would be lying if I said this took less than 60 hours of prep. The physical toll was immense, but the vision of the final product kept me going. That old paint fought me every step of the way. It clung to the metal like memories of battles long past, refusing to let go easily. But with each layer removed, the truck started to reveal its true potential. The gleam of the bare metal was like a promise of what was to come. It was like unearthing a hidden treasure. Each layer peeled back was a discovery, a glimpse into the truck's storied past. This truck, it had stories to tell, stories of its service, of the places it had been, and the people it had carried. And I was gonna give it a voice. Through this restoration, I would bring those stories back to life, giving the truck a new chapter in its long history. Section four, prepping for battle, masking, and protecting. Now, before I could even think about that fresh coat of paint, I had to get this truck prepped and ready. The rear ladder, gone. The extra tire on the back, history. Next came the masking tape, protecting the windows, the lights, the tires, everything that wasn't getting painted. It's all about the details. This is where patience comes in. One slip of the tape and you've got paint where you don't want it. It's all about precision. Section five, a splash of olive. Barn paint to the rescue. This is where the magic happens, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. Now for the fun part, the paint. 
Screw auto paint, this truck was not meant for a showroom. I'm talking about good old fashioned barn paint. Meant for aluminum, pretty darn tough. Basically, I really am just painting a moving shed. Durable, affordable, and gives you that no-nonsense look that's perfect for this truck. Spanish olive was the color of choice. Classic, rugged, and a whole lot cheaper than automotive paint. This shade not only looks great, but also adds a touch of timeless elegance. We're talking gallons for the price of a quart of fancy paint. It's a budget-friendly option that let my dollars go further in other projects. With a steady hand and a whole lot of determination, I laid down that first coat. Each stroke was a step closer to bringing this vision to life. And let me tell you, it was glorious. The transformation was nothing short of spectacular, turning a plain surface into a masterpiece. The gleam in the sunlight was a testament to the hard work and dedication poured into this project. Section 6. A friend in need teamwork makes the dream work. This wasn't a one-man job, though. My buddy, let's call him Gearhead Grant, came by to lend a hand. He's a wizard with his details. Someone had to man the tractor after all. Having him there, cracking jokes, handing me tools, it made all the difference. That's what it's all about, right? Friends, helping friends, building something special together. We lost track of time covered in paint, but we didn't care. We were on a mission. Section 7, Million Dollar Makeover. Pride in a job well done. After hours of sweat and maybe a few choice words, she was finally done. Standing there, looking at that Spanish olive shine in the sun, I couldn't help but grin. She looked like a million bucks. 500 bucks and a whole lot of hard work, that's all it took. This wasn't just a paint job, this was a transformation. This old truck was ready for anything, and so were we.